Hello, people. It's Marilyn. Uh, just got back from Walmart. Yeah, it's one of the few places. Anyway, I had a question about my bank account, so I wandered up to to the bank and inside of Walmart because they have a location in there. It's really, I don't know. It's what they do. Anyway, and uh, of course I pass the guy in my bank card, which I'm not going to show because you know it has all my lovely account number on it. And uh, he's like, I'll need to see some ID. And of course, I look like this. And I'm like, I probably won't look that much like my driver's license, you know. And let's see if I can figure out how to show this without showing too much vital information. Mm. Anyway, I show him my driver's license. Yes, you can see my number. Ooh, evil. And he's like, you don't look anything like that. I guess I don't. Yeah, who knows? Bad DMV photo photographers, I guess. Anyway, so that was interesting. Luckily, he still was nice and answered my question, but I definitely did not match my ID. Which, at least, is a problem for some of us uh, cross-dressers or people transitioning. You don't match your ID? Yeah, I definitely don't like this, apparently. Oops. Oh, well. Speaking of Walmart, let's see. Got... Some shaving cream. Ooh. I bought a twin pack because it's actually cheaper per can, if you're wondering. Don't ask me why. My nose economy things. And then, let's see. I have a Verizon uh, card to add money to my prepaid phone. And I was talking to one of my friends on Facebook. I'll just say Liz. Make my life easy. That way, if you get too embarrassed, well, you can deny it's you or something. Ah. Necklace wrote up. Anyway, and she was talking about makeup and stuff, and so, since, this, I don't know, it's, like I said, it's kind of sort of a documentary about me and cross-dressing and stuff. Well, I thought I'd show off some of my stuff. Let's see. Most of this is nail polish, whatever color that is. Don't ask me. I'm colorblind. Eh, I think this one's purple. Kind of goldish. Uh, red. Yes, I have a thing for nail polish. I think another shade of purple? Eh, whatever. Eh, I forget. Uh, pink, I think? Mm, bluish, kind of. Although I don't think it turns out that color. Let's see what else. That doesn't really isn't anything. Oh, yeah, pink. Uh, mascara that I still gotta figure out how to put on. More nail polish from the Geolip company. Don't ask me what color that is. I don't know. Uh, lipstick. Uh, let's see, this one at least says a color on it. Hot plum. And what's this? Lipstick. <laughs> Let's see. What shade is it? Eh, can't read it. Oh, red. Uh, more nail polish. Again, don't ask me what color. And yes, ladies, more nail polish. Don't know what color. Pink, I think. Uh. This I probably use essentially as like uh, a pre coat or a top coat. You put it on before your nail to polish and or on top of your nail polish helps it last longer, stuff like that. And let's see. Oh yeah, I showed that. And so I have an assortment of stuff. Uh, this is the shade I have right on now. Black cherry. I'm not sure if I like it or not, but hey, I have it, so I wear it. Else? No more julep nail polish. Mm, Did I show this already? I don't know what color that is, it's not labeled. 
the makeup people sometimes don't label stuff. Uh, some eyeshadow from Claire's. I guess I'll try it. Some people will say it's crap. I don't know. And I'll give it a shot, huh? And let's see what else. Uh, gotta put my nail polish away here. So yes, that's my assorted nail polish. Woo. Let's see, is that it over here? And this is a makeup kit I got a while ago from a company called Elf. If you're wondering, it looks kind of beat up because I accidentally dropped it and it bunged it up some. See, it's kind of broke. Ooh, pretty. And then this opens up too this way. I usually use it for eyeshadow. I guess you can use it for other things. I don't know. I'm still learning about makeup people. And then, let's see. Ew! Excuse me. Eh. It's my Bare Minerals kit that we're probably seeing. It has like foundation and brushes and concealer and some primer that I need some more of and various stuff that comes with the kit. It's kind of nice. Very expensive little box, like 80 some odd dollars, I think. Yeah, plus tax. If you're wondering, this is one of my dresses. I think I've worn it before. I don't remember, honestly. I like it. It was a little brisk out in this dress. I think it's more of a spring kind of dress. And yes, the, my legs are still bunged up from work, so sorry. And I don't know, I may need to redo my toenails. I've kind of just left them be, but I didn't feel like putting on pantyhose, and granted, most of my pantyhose are running stuff. Oh, what else? Oh, yeah, my wig. Most people know about, I think. Explains one of the reasons I look so different in my ID. Uh, what else? Oh, yeah. Some of the stuff I've shown before, I just don't think I've ever shown at all. My lovely purse, because dresses don't have pockets. And hairbrush, woo! Excitement. And I keep my cell phone in my purse, just because it's easy to pack that way. I also usually keep my wallet in there. Uh, I just usually use my mail, mail wallet. And you just pack that around with you. Of course, as most of the ladies know. <laughs> Excuse me. Uh, I gotta wash my wig too. Uh, fun. Anyway, so that was about my highlight of my day was going to Walmart. Being told I don't look anything like my ID. I took it as a compliment. Because I look a little different. That's why. I just teased the banker. I'm like, I'm under here somewhere. You know, under the wig and the bra and the dress and the panties and the heels. Uh, somewhere under there is the male me. <laughs> so, whatever. I don't know. Uh, makes you wonder how... Many people, I don't know, have issues with ID not matching up like I was pointing out. I don't look anything like mine when I'm all dressed up. Uh, I do have some other things like necklaces and earrings and stuff that I didn't bring out, but eh, essentially just, you know, stuff to look girly. Yep, yep, yep. How do you think of that like shade? I don't know. I call it the Joker shade. It kind of reminds me of Joker. Eh, I don't know why. Beer. But oh well. Hopefully it doesn't look too horrible. No idea. Mm. Oh yeah, also Liz was saying I look beautiful dressed up. I'm like, really? I do? Saying I did my makeup good. Or well, I guess would be correct English. Sorry, grammar people. Today all I have it on is lipstick. That's it, people. Nothing fancy today. Uh, I don't know what else. Um, 
I get ambitious and work some more on my documentary. Worked a little bit on it today, but honestly, I just haven't been feeling the best. I'm not sure what's up. But whatever. Um, been applying for jobs. That's real fun. Not. No, it's not. It's not. Uh, of course, I don't apply like this. Eh, good heart. <laughs> we need a good cross-dressing person like you. Uh, I don't think that's going to happen, especially in Utah. Pretty straight-laced. Uh, let's see what else. I don't know. Apparently the dog's destroying stuff. Crazy dog. If you're curious, my mom does have a dog. He's usually asleep. But he's doing something. Destroying the house. I don't know. <sighs> what else? I don't know. But, just thought I'd say howdy. Oh, I guess dressing up. That's probably some women know I have some extra things. Like, I'm always trying to figure out where my wallet is because I'm not used to packing a purse, ladies. I've had to learn to make sure to bring my hairbrush because the wind messes up your hair, although you'd never know because this headset messes up your hair, too. Uh, mm. and you definitely have things in your bathroom that most men don't have like nail polish, lipstick, mascara which I still got learned to put on correctly and of course your closet's kind of strange it's like I have dresses and skirts and pants and a suit and hey baby my poor closet <laughs> uh, of course I have uh, what I call my drag bag because it's basically just cross-dressing accessories like necklaces, heels, tights, pantyhose, bra extenders, bras. Eh, this goes on, I'm sure. Essentially, I have a little bit from both closets. <laughs> some male items and some female items, so... Yep, makes life interesting. Uh, well, oh yeah, I did write my fashion article today. I'll be trying to write that more consistently. Sorry for those that follow it. I've, like I say, I've been feeling the best, and my depression's been <laughs> skyrocketing off the face of the planet. So we're going off the face of the planet, however you want to determine it. And been good, however you want to determine. It. So that hasn't been helping anything. My health's been kind of hee-hee-hee. I'm not sure why that is. Uh, but oh well. And let's see. Anything else today? I don't know. As usual, cross-dressing questions within reason are welcome. Um, just try and be polite. As usual. Um... Sorry I didn't do a cross-dressing video on Saturday. I was just like... Oh. I was beat. Because last Saturday was the end of the month. And oh man, that was just nuttier than a hoodow. Boo-hoo! Crazy! And... Let's see what else. Uh, still filling lots of propane. Moving lots of trailers. Getting my annual workout, you know. <laughs> it's like, yeah! Yeah, ladies! I'm single. Uh, I, I work at U-Haul. And uh, I like to dress in a, in a dress on, in my free time. I could imagine making a personal ad. <laughs> uh, uh, I'm very manly. And I shave my legs. And I shave my armpits. And part of my chest. And. Uh, or uh, I know I was joking around a little bit the twisted metal video metal dating you know or he, he tried to get a date that would really be bizarre be like hello ladies do you like fires I like to sit by the fire of a burning city so romantic while people scream in agony ah. <laughs> Uh, 
and all the women are like, ah, yeah, run in there, run in there. <laughs> I don't think it'd do well on a dating service. Yeah. I like bashing skulls, killing people, burning stuff. You know, visual guy. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> uh, odd uh, twisted metal hobbies be depression. Check. Writing. Yeah. 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 Uh, death. Destruction. Oh, that reminds me. Speaking of death and destruction, somebody said I was destroying the fabric of society by wearing dresses. Really? Huh? Or the framework of a society. Excuse me. I'm sorry, but if society is that weak, it's pretty freaking pathetic if you can't put up with me wearing a dress, people. And that's just my opinion. Uh, so that was interesting. So, if you're curious... I apparently am destroying the fo social framework of the world. I'm really powerful, man. I need is like a cat, you know. Oh, my precious. Yes, yes, Mr. Bond. I want one billion dollars in good bullion. <laughs> See, I, I mean, I got the evil laugh. I mean, hey, I have an evil voice. I have twisted. I want that money now. In my account. Or I'll kill you all. I mean, gee, I guess I could. Global domination, here we go! <laughs> oh, sorry, I just find that laughable. It's like, really? I'm destroying society's framework. Wow. Anyway. Leaving on a note of social anarchy, apparently. <laughs> Isn't that pretty, boys and girls? Well, uh, I'll wish you a good weekend. I, like I say, will be pumping propane on Saturday. Moving trucks, trailers, usual stuff. And destroying the framework of society! <laughs> yes, people! Don't forget that! Mark it on your calendar. Anarchy! <laughs> <laughs> really? Oh well. But, uh, so, my social calendar will be quite busy with destroying the universe. Girls gotta have something to do, you know. Uh, followed by the usual, you know, twisted metal special death, destruction, burning, you know. Seriously, people? Seriously. <laughs> I don't write a story about that, but you know, I, I don't have plans for anarchy. Yeah, maybe a few. Shh. Quiet. We're hunting wabbits. <laughs> Wasky wabbits. Anyway, I think I've been goofy and long enough today. I'll talk to you all later. Uh, this is Marilyn saying bye for today.